Hello everyone and welcome back for more of Earthbound! In the last video, we explored a little bit of Dusty Dunes Desert and also got to the next big city, Forside. Let's talk to this guy and see what's about Forside. Oh, son of a bitch. Get over here! The city of Forside has developed quite a bit since Mr. Geldegard Monodoly hit bid time. Ooh, a Mr. Monodoly. Of course, it's probably a play on of Monopoly. Let's go find this Monodoly and see what's up. You know, might be good to figure out some information. I mean, after all, we don't really know exactly what we're in Foresight for, but we do know it's important. Eh, that must be it, after all, because it does say Monodoly. Uh oh, and this music's never really good. <coughs> Sorry about that. No, oh, I'll talk to this guy. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? How do you lose your shirt in a game of solitaire? Maybe he's just that creepy. No bear is only for Master Pokey's use. The Master Pokey? What? It cannot be the same Pokey that we know. I mean, that would be impossible. That doesn't make any sense. It's not, right? Alright, uh... We go out this way. Let's explore around and see. Maybe is he in... He's probably in this one. Let's check it out. It is the same Pokey we know. What? Ooh la la. This is my poor old friend. Poor. Uh, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no, Ness. Just shut up. You just come here to beg me for some money? We have enough money, dude. Just... Pokey, go F yourself. Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. You're not a master of anything. You're master of my ass. Uh, that's not right. That's not weird. I'm now Gildegardi Monodoli's partner. You're a freaking child! Now give him political and economic advice. I know there are some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monodoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here! Now, loser! How can you give political and economical advice? You're stupid! You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Well, why don't you try to grow some hair, Baldy McBald face? Private elevator! Not used for operation for a general public. Monodoly building manager. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, let's explore somewhere else, because apparently this place is really hostile. Lady, I don't want to stare at your hips because you are ugly. Woo. Of course, guess what? This video is going up, what? On the same day it's supposed to be uploaded. Yeah, I'm having a bad habit of that lately. I don't know why. Do, do, do. Ooh, magic butterfly. Is that worth getting? Yeah, yes, it is. Right here, after all. Da 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 da. I do want to say something, though, guys. Now, I, I kind of say that I, after you leave Light 3, this is where the game starts to kind of get hard. I mean, after all, this game will get really hard uh, around this point. Oh, what am I doing? Of course, I need to buy tickets. 30 bucks? That's expensive! Use every ticket. Oh, son. Get the effing ticket. Um, wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's show ticket. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. This should look familiar. Uh, let's go in here. Ooh. Now, the funny thing is that you can actually talk to these NPCs. I don't think they say much. Oh, oh wait, I'm on the wrong side. I think you have to be on the side that they're facing. Dot, dot, dot. Quiet! That's all, that's all they really say. Every single one of them says the same thing. Oh, well. Apparently not all of them. Let's talk to this guy. When Ness arrives, the runway 5 told me to let him in. So please come in. Looks like the runway 5s are now playing here in Foresight. Let's see how they're doing. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. Sorry for what? We're so hopeless. Really hopeless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck. Again, we've been cheated by a theater owner. We're stuck here with the phony contract. Oh, yeah! The meat, Del, Del Degar, Mentale, you'll need our help. Don't know why. 
Well, it sucks. Apparently now they're stuck playing Kieran four sides, just like Tucson all over again. It's horrible. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Kaboom! The one way five. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Well, that was fun. But apparently, we gotta rescue them again. So, what's it gonna take this time? Probably gonna take a lot. Oh boy. So, let's go talk with the manager and see if we can't fix something. Alright, here she is. So, you're the one, so you're the one way five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo with the police. The police will probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. That's not very convincing. But you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. You have to find Barry Gold. But you'd never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> hmm. Buried Gold. Where that was that one guy in Dusty Dunes Desert who did say that he'd give us any gold because we gave him food. Oh, hi. So, hmm. Seems like a good trade-off. Gold for some food. Hmm. Which one's more valuable, you think? We can't eat gold. That's that's true. So let's go back to Dusty Dunes. Ugh. I hate the Dusty Dunes desert. It's probably my it's my least favorite area in all of Earthbound. It's just it's just a really difficult enemy. I mean the enemies there are actually pretty strong for, you know, this point in the game. Now, I would really, really recommend, guys, that you actually uh, train up in this next area. You probably want to be up to level 35, 36 for what's going to come up. Because, fair warning, there's going to be a dungeon coming up soon. It's kind of hard, too. So, just, just as a little bit of a warning for you guys. I don't want to scare you or anything like that, but this dungeon is kind of hard. Let's go into the building. And back in the dusty fucking doom desert. I don't like this place. I really don't. Luckily, you're not going to spend a lot of time here. By the time that you do spend here, it's just really annoying. I'm also not fond of the music. Whoa, look how much he's done already. Jeez. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, guys. Well, um, let's talk around and see what we can get. I think you should take somewhere else. Where? So you may not believe I'm a healer. If you have some illness, I can have you treat my health, but it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? Uh, no, we don't. There's a healer if you need it. I have lots of work to do, but I can't see the move. I'm so curious about the day. I can't help it. That guy is not even looking at the day. He's just looking at the sky. Like, uh -huh, huh. I have a boner right now. I'm just joking. You're good. No, not sunstroke. Let's go inside and uh, rest up a little bit. Like this guy. It's a small hospital. Please stay the night. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken laser. Oh, awesome! After being fixed, the broken laser became the laser gun. Yay! An upgrade! And, uh, I'm gonna call my mom. Why? Well, it's because I don't want to get homesick, so I figure it'd be good idea to call her. Okay, so anyways, uh, I will actually be kind of right back because I'm going to go, um, uh, up-equip, uh, Jeff with the new laser gun and sell the old thing. Oh! New enemy! This is called the Sculpion, I believe. Yep. Sc oh, of course, Ness got Sunstroke. Ugh. All right, so um, let's use that on ourselves. Um, 
I think it'd be a good idea to use Thunder Beta on these guys. If I remember, they're pretty weak to it. Thunder Beta is pretty cheap, too. Oh, no! Yeah, they can do a lot of damage. Scalpians are very annoying. Also, they have the ability to poison. Poison is my least favorite illness in this game. I freaking hate poison. You can only heal with healing beta. It's, it's just an annoying thing. It's fucked me over so many times in this next upcoming dungeon. Okay, but anyways, guys, I will be right back uh, after I just go uh, sell the old equipment that Jeff has at the store and equip the new one. So I'll be right back. Of course, apparently the fact that the uh, apparently I can't apparently I can't sell the old equip, so we're stuck with it. Great. I'll probably just sell it to Escargot Express. Okay, so we have the cute little uh, the cute little UFO, the Crested Buka, and also a uh, Smiling Sphere. Now, I'm just going to say this right now. Smile and Sphere, you will always want to take out last. If you remember the Territorial Oaks, uh, Smiling Spheres basically have the same exact ability that they, do, that, they, that they do. They can actually explode once they're dead, and they will deal a lot of damage. So make sure you kill them first. I mean, last. No, kill them last. Alright, come on. Just... Fine, attack Ness. He has more HP after all. Yay! Alright, now let's just attack the Smiling Sphere. Yeah! Alright, that should be that damage. So you're exploding a bit! Look at that! Mortal damage to everyone! Quickly, quickly! But of course, you know, if you're quick enough, you can actually stop the moral damage. That's the great thing about this. And there's a boiled egg inside. And now Paul is level 29. And Paul learned the power, realized the power of defense down alpha. Awesome. So anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end off here. So next time on Earthbound, we will venture into that cave because we have kind of a tough dungeon coming up. And of course, Paula got Sunstroke. Uh, I'm just actually going to level up off screen and I'll just tell, you know, once this video is done, exactly what happened while I was off screen. So anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time.